Sam Barlow released her story in 2015. In that game, the player sifts through police interrogation footage of a woman in regards to a murder. We're trying to put together what happened, and the game ends when the player decides they are satisfied with the answers they've gotten. Telling lies expands upon that concept. We are searching through a database containing multiple people, and it is not police interrogation footage. It looks to be conversations held over the internet on laptops and mobile phones. Private conversations. The first video clip in her story let the player know this is a murder mystery, and after my time with telling lies, I'm still not sure what the game is even about. Telling Lies opens with a woman arriving home and sitting down at her computer. This is who we are controlling. This woman is searching through the footage for a reason. The text file on the hard drive alludes to this reason, as well as that it will probably result in her losing her job. The program this footage was taken from is called Retina, which sounds like a government surveillance program. But as to why I am continuing to sift through this footage, I am none the wiser. I love the woman's constant reflection in the monitor as we're both watching the videos. It adds to the voyeuristic quality of the game. It's at once immersive, connecting the player with the protagonist, but at the same time it creates a barrier. She's the one breaking the law and pouring through this data. We're just along for the ride, even if we are the ones in control. But the voyeuristic nature of the game is what made me uncomfortable playing it. Part of it is that the people in the video clips are having conversations with another person, but we only ever hear one side of the conversation. There's an eerie quality to that. I imagine it could lead to some fun aha moments when the player is able to match up two clips as opposite ends of a conversation. Sort of like the eureka moment I had in her story when I realized the key element of the game and went back through all the footage to put my theory to the test. Some of these folks look to be video dating and one is paying for the privilege of talking to a sex worker. The height of my discomfort was when a little girl and her mum were talking to her dad before falling asleep. The camera hangs on them while they sleep. I guess he was watching them before ending the call. These are intimate moments I feel I have no business being privy to. But maybe that's the point. So, would I recommend telling lies? No, I think you should be honest. I also think the game is trying to say something about privacy and video surveillance, but it also didn't give me a reason to care. I had no hook to want to delve deeper and understand just what the woman I'm playing is doing at the footage and what she's looking for. I don't even know why the game is called Telling Lies. Perhaps you might like uncovering the mystery of the game or aren't as put off about watching people's private conversations as I am. And if what you've seen interests you, I'd recommend giving it a crack. Personally. I'd prefer to go back and play Barlow's previous effort, her story. That's right, I'd prefer to play it again, Sam. <laughs>